Baseball bats are my favorite weapon in the game, specifically the spiked baseball bat. It's not about the damage output, although the spiked bat has a decent critical multiplier. It's arguably worse than the shovel or crowbar within the long blunt weapon class. Not to mention the shovel weighs less than the bat. The real reason I favor the spiked bat has to do with the way the durability system works. Spiked bat is one of very few weapons in the game worth repairing. To explain the durability system, I'll show you the broom because it has lower numbers. There's two numbers you need to know. The max condition of the weapon, the brooms is 3, and the chance for it to take durability damage. This is expressed in a 1 in X format. The broom's chance is 1 in 2, or 50%. This means you can hit things 6 times on average before it breaks. Luckily, the wiki already does the math for you, so there's no need to do it yourself. Bigger numbers are better, right? Not in all cases. Every time you repair something, it receives a repair stack. As this number goes up, the amount repaired goes down, as well as the chance to successfully repair it. For example, you could repair a bat with wood glue or duct tape, but both of those items are relatively rare. Especially if you went down the path of increasing the rarity of loot for the sake of difficulty. With level 7 carpentry, you can repair the bat for 75% of its durability via wood glue. The next repair drops to 50%. If you keep going, it quickly becomes no longer worthwhile, and past 10 repairs, the chance to succeed starts going down. However, when you turn this bat into a spike bat, it loses any repair stacks it had, allowing the weapon a second life with a nearly infinite resource for repairs. Nails. The amount the nails repair the weapon doesn't matter. The durability system works in whole numbers, so a 1% repair still repairs the spike bat by the minimum amount, 1. Repeatedly repairing the bat with nails stays above a 50% success rate up to 23 repairs. Failing a repair does not increase the repair stat count, and it has a low rate of reducing the condition of the weapon. This means you can consistently push the spiked bat past 30 repair stacks while still gaining more condition than you lost. The nails are so cheap in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter if you wasted 50 or 60 doing so. With the spiked bat having a 1 in 10 chance to take damage, it starts with an average of 150 swings. Once you add in the potential 20 to 30 extra condition from repairs, it can easily reach 400 swings or higher, putting it way up on the list of longevity for a weapon, only truly sitting behind the crowbar, fire axe, and machete. To top it off, baseball bats have a special place in this game, the Louisville Bruiser Factory. Depending on your loot rarity settings, the factory can easily have over 100 bats strewn about in its various containers, meaning a dedicated baseball player can do their entire run through the game only using bats.